Hello, my name is Aaron, and welcome back to the Retro Gaming Collective. I have a really quick pickup that I want to talk about with you guys. Um, a few weeks ago, I did my own garage sale, and I sold a few games and things like that. Um, I didn't do great at it, but I did meet this guy. He ended up living down the street from my parents. Um, and we talked for a little while and he said, hey, I got an Xbox, got a bunch of games, things like that. Would you be interested in buying it? Of course I was. I gave him my card. Um, so he and I um, started texting and he sent me a few pictures of some games and things like that. So he and I came to an agreement. It's an original Xbox lot with maybe about 15 or 16 games here. Um, and I paid him $100 for everything that I'm about to show you. Um, it's a pretty good deal. So, um, yeah, without further ado, let's dive in and see what it looks like. First of all, we have the console. And I'm going to tell you right now, this guy's stuff was like pristine, man. He must have bought it brand new and barely ever touched it. I mean, there's your typical dirt on here, but this, look at this. Like, that's a good looking Xbox. Not a ton of dirt or mess on it. Pretty sweet. Um, it also came with um, these two kind of standard controllers here. And they're in really great shape. Uh, this one's like near mint. It's almost perfect. This one, he definitely played a little bit more because if you look, I'm going to try and get it on screen. The, uh, this, this little trigger here thing. Um, it's a little bit chewed up, not too bad. Um, I'm going to use that. And then maybe some of these, the, the cheaper games in this lot to kind of bundle it together. And I will probably make all of my money back on that console alone, but there are some good games in here. Again, it's nothing super crazy. It's kind of more mid range stuff. Um, but I'm going to grab the whole box. I mean, it's this whole box is filled with games here. So we're going to go right down the line. We got, again, these are all complete. So this is just an example. AMF Bowling 2004. This is complete. The manual looks amazing. The game looks amazing. It even has like the warranty card. So when there's a warranty card, it is in here. Um, so we got AMF Bowling 2004. We got Star Wars. Uh, uh, Lego Star Wars 2, the original trilogy, also complete. Like, again, every single one of these, absolutely complete. We got Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. We got ESPN 2K5 basketball. Again, all of these are complete, barely touched. The discs are incredible. We got Project Gotham Racing. That's pretty cool. It's an Xbox exclusive. We got Star Wars Battlefront 1 and Battlefront 2. Both are decent games. I, I mean, like, great to play, but price-wise, decent. Then we got NHL 2002. Complete, like, every single one of these just looks amazing. We got the Sonic Mega Collection Plus. Um, what, what else can I say about that? We got Curious George. This game surprised me that it actually carried a little bit of value. I think it's like a $15 game. And again absolutely complete crazy now um we got this is the only one that's not in the actual case and that is harry potter's goblet of fire disc only no big deal we got tony hawk's underground 2 it's crazy we got this is the big hitter right here now cars <laughs> we got Rocky Legends. And as you can see, the games just keep on coming. This is actually a pretty decent game here too, Rocky Legends. Complete. Then we got Namco Museum. Also complete. It, look, even back here, we got the, uh, the warranty card. Crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy. We got a another copy here of Tony Hawk's Underground. This is the first one. Very cool to grab that. I actually loved that game. That was one that I really, really enjoyed growing up, Underground, especially the first one. Then we got a copy of Sega GT 2002, but it's also the Jet Set Radio Future. So it's got both on there, and it's got both manuals in here. Look at that. Sick. All right. So we got a few more in here to go. Then we got Quidditch World Cup. I mean, just every one. Complete, complete, complete. And there's not a scratch on the case, like any of these. Look at that, crazy. Then we got Bruce Lee, Quest of the Dragon, also complete. 
This one's about a $15 game or so, maybe a little more, somewhere in there. Then we got Project Gotham Racing 2. Look at that, complete, perfect, looks great. Got a couple more here. As you can see, there's just a ton of games, man. So we got Superman Returns, also complete. Um, really cool there. And then the final game that we got is nothing crazy, but it's Hummer Badlands. Complete. Look at that. <laughs> so as you can see, it is a massive, massive pile of games here. Um, and I have tons of stuff up on my eBay store right now um, that you may have seen in my last video. Um, and all of this stuff is going to go up as well. I'm just trying to get this pile together so I can show you it all together, man because it's, it's a lot. Um, if there's anything that you are interested in in this lot or on my um, on my eBay page, please feel free to reach out, let me know. I love to work deals with you guys. Um, my subscribers, people who watch my videos, it means a lot to me, so I like to give back to you guys. Um, but yeah, if you have any questions, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. Um, you can also um, follow me on TikTok and Instagram, at the Retro Gaming Collective. And I'm on eBay. I'm the Retro Gaming Collective there as well. So thank you guys so much again. And until next time, happy hunting.